In this video, I've got a second generation eFroom. It's an Apple HomeKit enabled indoor air quality monitor. If you're thinking of buying the eFroom, here's a quick roundup of what it does and more importantly, how you can use the information to improve your air quality. I'll reveal some of the hidden sources of VOC emissions around the home and I measure the effectiveness that a typical home air purifier actually has on improving your air quality, which might surprise you. I keep my videos concise for you, so if the video helps you at all, please hit the like button. I really appreciate that. Thanks. Briefly, the first generation was all plastic. Now you have an aluminium and always on e-ink real-time display. This gives quick view information without needing to open the app or ask Siri. There's no more AA batteries. Instead, eFroom is USB powered, giving a six week cycle from a full charge. Or leave it plugged in, but it's hard to stand up this way. eFroom collects three metrics, humidity, temperature, and air quality. I'll show you how I was able to improve my air quality, which has helped me because I no longer wake up every morning with a stuffy nose. The main function of the eFroom is to measure volatile organic compound emissions. So what are VOCs? I imagine them as little bad guys floating around in the air. The EVA app measures them in parts per billion. Less than 250 is considered low and above 2000 high. EVROOM presents air quality with a 1 to 5 star quick reference or you can delve into the app and geek out on as much data as you like. There's basic data in the home app and lots more in the dedicated EVA app. That reminds me, if you already have any EVE devices, such as the EVE Cam, EVE Energy Smart Plugs and more, you can now access the EVE 5 app, not just from your smartphone, but on your desktop too. I can't find it in search from Apple's App Store, but you can navigate to it from the EVE blog page like this. I'll place a direct link in the description for you. For disclosure, EVE sent me this for free and I've been using it for a few weeks so I can give you some proper informed feedback. Here, I'm monitoring the air quality in my bedroom, which I measured to have a floor area of just 6.3 meters squared. We can see a steady buildup of VOC emissions during a few hours of binge watching my favorite TV series. Eventually, I decide to do something about it. You can add automation to trigger an air purifier when emissions get high in combination with a smart plug. But here's why you may not want to do that. I manually turned on this readily available air purifier it's an active carbon air purifier and HEPA filter unit. You can buy ones like this for around $50. Always noisy, no matter what it says on the box. Here, I let my air purifier run for a whole hour. It flattened the curve and prevented further degradation of air quality, but was unable to restore the air quality to a better condition. So even in a small room, automation wouldn't work for me because the air purifier would need to be always on. Method two was free. My low-tech solution of opening a window restored air quality to 5 stars in just 2-3 to three minutes. I calculated the cost of replacing any heat loss to be insignificant compared to constantly running the air purifier. Maybe my air purifier isn't big enough, but a bigger unit would use more power and cost more, so the window wins every time. Typical sources of VLCs can include paints, cosmetics, cleaning products, humans, furniture and more. I swapped out a duvet which helped immediately reduce levels in my bedroom. The more you use the Eve room, the faster you'll learn which things are negatively contributing to your air quality. Next up, I want to lower my humidity. Oh, and hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks. So after a few days, I learned my normal average room humidity is around 55%. I want to lower it by 5% because this will make my life complete. Actually, my research suggests healthy indoor relative humidity levels to be between 45 and 55%. I wanted to lower mine to make an environment less appealing to dust mites and other crawlies. Again, you can set up automation here using the app to trigger intermittent power to an electric dehumidifier. Check out the Eve Energy, which can turn lots of your everyday devices into smart devices or a smart lamp. Anyway, I don't want the noise of an electric dehumidifier and opted for trial and error to find the right solution to maintain a balance without powered appliances. I'm using the Unibond Aero 360 Moisture Absorber with replaceable refill blocks lasting three months. Placed under my bed, this gave me exactly the 5% humidity reduction I wanted. Made exclusively for Apple HomeKit and with 100% privacy protection, EVE accessories are the only devices I personally use to connect to my home hub. Just like the EVE Cam I purchased last year, the EVE Room does not harvest any of your personal information. You don't have to create an account or give up your email. 
Many features work in Apple's Home app, and the Eva app does not require registration.